Dick Wolf, of course, is best known as the creator of NBC's hit Law & Order franchise. He's also one of the creative forces behind NBC's Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, and by the way, coming this fall, Chicago Med. And because he's not busy enough, doing enough stuff, he's also written a new crime novel. It's called The Ultimatum, Dick Wolf. Good morning to Good you. Morning, oh, sorry, I just oh. had to play the Law and Order sound for you. Every time I say Dick Wolf, I've asked them to. Yes, that's my ringtone. I'm just going to read from my phone. Dude, is it really? Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. I need to get that ringtone. So we all know you for Law and Order. It's a great show. It's a cult favorite. Is this kind of flexing the same muscles when you wrote this book? Yeah, they, I think the best description is my 28-year-old daughter, who also writes and has read a lot of scripts over the years. When she read the first book, she said. Gee, Dad, it kind of reads like a long script with no indentations for dialogue. Thank you. That's exactly that's what you what were it, going for. Well that's, well, that's what I do. So it's the same structure, just longer. Bigger story that you couldn't do in an hour. By the way, it's also ripped from the headlines. Yep. This plot has to do with WikiLeaks, a big leak, an Edward Snowden yeah. kind of character. Drones? Tell drones. me about the plot. Well, the drones, what happens is that uh, some information is leaked by a WikiLeaks type of organization that reveals, among other things, the home addresses of undercover agents, intelligence division officers, and one of them is Fisk. So he is targeted for being taken out, and through that, uh, and going after the people behind the leak, uh, there is somebody who is killing people with weaponized drones. And by the way, I don't know if I should take this as a compliment, but the Today Show the Today Plaza Show, absolutely. is among the targets. Uh, well, it's Please don't one of kill those, me off. No, no. You're, I told you, nobody on the Today Show dies. Okay, good. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, all good. I feel a lot better about this. I have to pay you a compliment. When I was in law school, my criminal procedure professor said law and order was required viewing because you were dead on correct on the procedure, and I know you're a real stickler for well, that. Well, that's it's, it's interesting. I'm glad he said that because one of the things that we're dealing with on Chicago Med is absolute accuracy since most people get a lot of their information about medicine from TV, TV. which is terrifying and but yeah we never had as far as I know I never got a call from a defense attorney or a prosecutor saying we had made a legal mistake and we're trying to keep the same kind of zero tolerance on the medical show. Yeah, so Chicago Med's coming up. You've got this book. There's also a rumor that there may be some kind of law and order Reunion. And that would be, it would be great if it happens. There's interest in doing it from everybody, but as you can imagine, it's kind of a Rubik's Cube of scheduling and who's available and who can do this stuff now and later. So I hope it's going to happen. I mean, it'd be great. Well, you've got a huge following and a big fan here. Well, Let's hear that sound one more time if we could. <laughs> there it is. I love it. The book is called Ultimatum Dick Wolf. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks. it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.